All right, we're back. This winter, last December, we went for a dive over at Breakwater, which is in Monterey Bay in California. And it's one of our favorite sites. It's actually a site where we learned to dive and kind of grew up diving uh, while we were at UC Santa Cruz with our instructor. And we had the chance to go with one of our good buddies, Eric Wall. I'm gonna put a little picture of Eric's walls. Well, it's over you. Oh, <laughs> Eric's walls face right here. Eric works at the Monterey Bay Aquarium and he does some fantastic underwater photography. There's a link to his Instagram right here. It's gonna appear right here. Yeah. And yeah, it's one of our, our really kind of favorite sites and there's a lot of cool different things you can check out. What did, what did you think, Wave? Um, I thought it was awesome when we went. We normally will dive other spots in Monterey because we really like some spots that are a little further south that have a bunch of kelp and fish and cool stuff. Monastery. Um, monastery. We'll make a video at some point yeah, where we dive yeah. there. Probably many videos. <laughs> um, but it was fun to go back to Breakwater. I hadn't dove it in a pretty long time and it was a pretty crazy swell day and so Breakwater is really protected and you can kind of always dive there. I think we've really only had one or two times where it wasn't diveable. Um, and so we had a really nice time there. Also, there was all these crazy surf warnings and you'll see in the video that it was like extremely flat and calm and pretty decent visibility too. So yeah, we really got good. very lucky with like a winter dive mm -hmm. in Monterey. Um, and so we'll have a map of the dive site show mm -hmm. up somewhere over our faces, I'll figure it out. Um, and um, Breakwater has a bunch of different sites that you can dive at. Um, so we did our first one at the Metridium Fields mm -hmm. and you'll see in our video, Metridiums are these white plumose anemones and they're located on these rocky reef pinnacles that are, or not pinnacles, but rocky reef that's um, a little bit offshore. Um, and you can find them, there's a pump house and you kick out um, in line with that. Um, and then you will drop down a little bit to the left of the pump house if you're facing sh um, the shore into about 25 to 35 feet of water. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll kind of take your bearing towards that and you should run into the pipe. Um, and that's what you'll use to kind of find the Matridian fields. All right, so our first dive was at the Breakwater Matridian fields. So just us kicking out, again, super calm, crazy day. Um, not crazy. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted to say. It was it was a nice calm day. It was a good day. It was like crazy cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this right here, we dropped down um, on the pipe. You can see it's pretty clear. Like you'll know it when you see it. Yeah. It's like a meter and a half long, I would say. And there, like Wave said, there'll be a bunch of tiny pipes. So make sure when you show up, you like see it and you're like, yeah, like this is the pipe. You'll, you'll know when you see it. But um, yeah, if it's a small pipe, don't, don't bother. So this is a, a dead mola that we saw, like a mola mola. And we see them somewhat seasonally and they'll come in in like these huge like herds almost. That's totally not the right word for a group of mullahs. Schools. But schools of mullahs. <laughs> and oh my gosh, like sometimes they'll just like just fill the entire water column and you'll be like surrounded with like a school of hundreds of mullahs. And it's like the most phenomenal thing. But they come in and then after that happens, we'll be diving and we'll find just piles of their bodies all over the floor. And it's from the sea lions mm -hmm. that will actually, they'll eat off the fins of the molas, which are like the fleshy part. They're really bony fish. And so they'll eat that and you'll see them on the surface actually hucking them around like frisbees, yep. <laughs> which is kind of sad. But then they'll go down to the bottom and half the time they're still alive and you'll like look at them in the eyes sometimes yeah. and they're just like, help me, but you can't really do yeah. anything. Um, and then sea stars and like I've seen them in anemones even will mm -hmm. eat them and they're actually kind of a probably great export of carbon and like nutrients to the, the benthic environment. But they're really cool. And I didn't know why we saw them seasonally, but then Wave was pointing out. Yeah, so in June um, is when we see them and that's our upwelling season here in Monterey. And so that's when we get these cold nutrient rich waters that come up um, shallower. They're typically deeper down. And so- it's phytoplankton. Yeah, that's what he studies. And so um, you'll see um, these juvenile fishes will be seeking, um, so those nutrients bring phytoplankton, it brings zooplankton, and basically this cascade of um, uh, basically prey um, for the molas to mm -hmm. come feed on and they we have these big jellyfish blooms um, at breakwater specifically and so the molas will come in in the summer mm -hmm. and um, be snacking on these jellies and so you'll see a bunch of them really close to shore which is really cool so when you reach the end of the pipe it's hollow um, so you can see it and then this is where you would like turn off to go to the nitridiums and there's often something that's like hiding out in the end of the pipe yeah if you have a flashlight always look inside the pipe it's usually like a big lean cod or some mm -hmm. rockfish or something and this one we say we're pretty sure but like we're like very positive. Uh, this is a, this is yeah. a brown rockfish. Once you 
turn off, take that bearing towards the Metridiums. It's northwest. like northwest and yeah, less than a minute, uh, you'll hit yeah. them. So there's also like, it, there'll be this Metridium field on the front and then behind it, there's like also a bunch of Metridium fields. Like yeah. I've gone out just kicking straight northwest for like, maybe like 30 minutes mm -hmm. and there's just Metridium field after Metridium field. And you yeah. progressively get deeper, but like it does keep going. It's like this huge thing. And most people just go to this one rock. So investigate the rest. Yeah. There's, there's cool stuff out there. Definitely. But there's also lots of other stuff like on the Metridium fields. Like I feel like when you first get there, you're like taking in, of course, like all of the anemones, but there's lots of like little guys that are hanging out. So like the mm -hmm. nudibranch and gobies and Brittle stars and all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. which is quite cool. And then, <laughs> luckily we didn't just see the dead oh, one. Wow. Um, we saw um, a huge mola mola swim by. Um, little baby, what are you talking well, about? And you see massive ones yeah, in Yeah, actually I have a picture I can put in. Yeah. Right, I'm in the picture, so you have me for scale. And it was huge. So yeah, no, the adults can get like six feet across, like very, or probably bigger even, I don't, I don't know. But yeah. Quite large, yeah. but I actually realized, and like on scuba, I haven't really seen one bigger than this because That's I right. think I've only seen the juvies, mm -hmm. um, and this True. was like a maybe older juvenile. I don't know. I've never seen so the walleye surf perch. They are like a cleaning station for the molars. Yeah, I didn't yeah. realize that either. I don't know much about it. If anyone knows, let us let us know let us in the know. comment. Yeah, <laughs> our second dive we did along the breakwater wall, um, which is super common like popular uh dive uh, at breakwater um but honestly it's one of my favorites because there's just like so much like life um along there yeah it's very nice i'd say this is probably like the most popular dive site in like at least all of central california, central california. Like, yeah. people come from far places to, to check out breakwater yeah. and for for good reason it's it's really nice <laughs> and giant coat and then um, there were tons of these juvenile blue rockfish. Or are they deacons? These are blue, I think. <laughs> yeah. Juveniles are really hard to tell. So, um, but these kelp forest rocky reef habitats are really, really good nursery habitats for lots of different types of fishes, especially uh, rockfish. Sort of Alexander was asking if they were blues or deacon rockfish, because there's two species that look really, really similar, and they actually thought they were originally just all considered to be blue rockfish and then a couple of years ago they realized that they were genetically different from each other mm -hmm. typically though in monterey we see more true blue rockfish to my understanding um, warmer water warmer water and so I, I would assume that's what these are but i don't know for sure very cute oh these are cool i feel like i see these at breakwater all the time but um nudibranch eggs so sea slugs um will lay eggs in different uh groups of species have different shapes that their eggs will be laid in and so dorids will lay these like spirally eggs you can kind of see them moving in the surf and so those ribbons have like little like I think thousands of like teeny tiny eggs in those ribbons. I didn't know that when I first started seeing them. I had no idea what they were, mm. so kind of cool. Yeah, I feel like when I first started, I was like, what the heck is all of this? There's so much life just like in this one um, frame, like from the kelp to like the different algae and anemones um, and fish and everything yeah. just kind of in these one spot. There's so much diversity at, at Breakwater, especially because you have all that, that rocky reef, right? And it's really great substrate for like kelps or inverts like kind of bind to and so you'll see so much more just biomass there than like over a sandy or muddy bottom. Mm -hmm. These are some surf perch so a lot of as you kind of move up in the kelp canopy you'll see like different types of fishes so like we have the rockfish that we were seeing before and then there's like the sea perch or surf perch mm -hmm. you get like senoritas and chromies these little ones in the upper canopy um, and then there's a sea otter hanging out up top too which is cool. Eating something it caught. Yeah. This was so weird. Yeah, <laughs> this diving, um, a tree was just underwater. <laughs> yeah. I, love this. <laughs> I was very confused. This tree was underwater. And it was kind of cool because I don't know when, what storm had dragged this over here, but there's already, you can kind of see young kelp starting to like colonize that mm -hmm. and, and take over. And so it was kind of just this cool, like terrestrial claim by marine. But yeah, really interesting to, to see that yeah. over breakwater. That's not cool. normally a feature. So all of those little um, sort of arms up in the air are from brittle stars that are on the seafloor um, and this is over um, so you'll be on the wall and there's lots of kelp and rock and then it kind of starts to open up a little bit into just sort of rocky area um, and so that's where you start to see like these mussels and brittle stars and stuff on the seafloor. <laughs> and then yeah this is as we were going out you kind of hit that that sea lion rookery 
this is one of the guys who's kind of checking me out. <laughs> he gave me <laughs> a little, little hello. <laughs> but you can see here, I mean, the viz, you, you can't exactly tell, but there were at least 20 around yeah, or something. And not more. they kind of all come out and party, especially if they see the scuba divers come and they see your bubbles. They'll kind of come mess around with you. They'll blow bubbles. They'll dart in and out and, and say hi. And you can just tell, you know, they're really crazy, curious, just incredible. Yeah. Kind of creatures. They're very sweet. And I love, yeah, they'll do the little spins, they'll blow bubbles, mm. all kinds of stuff. Um, they all have like totally unique and distinct personalities too. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know them well enough to like know them by name, but like, yeah, they all kind of behave differently. Yeah. And it's really, really cool to see that kind of community that they have out there. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and that, I think, pretty much wraps up our dive out there. Um, I think that's everything. Um, we definitely miss diving in California. That was, we don't get to that as much now. We're up in Oregon, um, but we try to do it when we go back home. Yeah, it's um, nice to see the old friends. Yeah, and so hopefully we'll get to go back down there soon and have some more videos there. But um, we're also hoping to dive a lot more in Oregon and Washington and Canada and everything. So we'll have more videos from there coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I think Alexander said in the last video um if you know any spots um that are in the kind of pacific northwest area let us yeah, know let us know we Tell love us. recommendations know. uh but thank you for watching and hopefully it won't take us so long to put out another video that was my fault <laughs> it's fine grad students so yeah, yeah. okay bye <laughs>